I'm Rob Whitfield with the Orange County Register, and welcome to OC and Two. Rain is falling all around Orange County this morning, and it has forced the evacuation of residents in fire-damaged canyons. A flash flood warning and the potential for mudslides prompted the Orange County Fire Authority to order 2,000 residents of Majesca, Williams, and Silverado Canyons to leave their homes. But forecasters now say those burn areas will get less than half of the rain they expected. Still, a flash flood watch will remain in effect through this afternoon. Rain is expected to continue tonight as cold, unstable air could produce strong, isolated showers. You wouldn't expect your mother to put these grades on the fridge. Representatives from a six-county panel unveiled a report card yesterday that grades the region's quality of life. Here's what we got. Safety, B. Employment, B. Income, C. And housing, mobility, and air quality, all Ds. And PE didn't do so well either. California kids are receiving poor grades on the latest state physical fitness test. In Orange County, about one in three kids passed the test. But some educators are fighting the unhealthy trend. Newport Heights Elementary Principal Kurt Sir started a coordinated approach to children's health. The CATCH program has students exercising in small groups and stresses nutritional education at school and at home. The program is used in about 600 classrooms and 100 after-school programs in Orange County. The Governor's Council on Physical Fitness named Sir Principal of the Year. He was awarded $10,000, which he says he will put towards the program. A Muslim woman says her rights were violated when San Bernardino Sheriff deputies forced her to remove her headscarf. The ACLU filed a lawsuit in federal court on behalf of 29-year-old Jamila Medina. Medina spoke to the media at the agency's Santa Ana offices, but asked not to show her face. The suit alleges San Bernardino Sheriff deputies violated her rights by forcing her to remove her head covering when she was booked in 2005 for carrying an invalid Metrolink pass. The Sheriff's Department requires inmates to remove headgear, ties, belts, and other articles for the safety of detainees and staff. But Medina says removing her headscarf is prohibited in Islam. It's a big night for Orange County High School football. Seven Orange County teams will face off for CIF division titles. Check out OCVarsity.com for all the info. Watch Daybreak OC weekday mornings from 6 to 8 a.m. on KDOC and catch Real Orange weekday evenings at 6.30 on KOCE. To read more about all of these stories and to get your breaking news all day, click on OCRegister.com.